Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for this week's drawing, I am going to be drawing a bunch of, or a bouquet of lavender. And um, I just really love lavender. And so let's get started. I freehanded this piece almost exclusively. So there really wasn't much um, pencil work in it. Actually, I don't think there was any pencil work. It's been a while since I've done this one. Um, but what I did do is I looked up pictures of lavender, that way I kind of got an idea of how I wanted everything um, laid out. And then I put down a blue wash. So the, for the background, I used my favorite technique, the sock lace technique, to create a nice kind of um, blotchy background for the bouquet to sit on. Since this is a kind of freehand technique, you need to make sure that Every layer is completely dry before you start with the next one, otherwise they'll bleed through. Now if you're kind of going for a looser painting, you can completely use a bit of a wet on wet. But even then, I recommend you letting it dry for just a little bit before you start the next layer. That way it doesn't tear up the paper, but you can still get a really nice subtle bleed technique. I began to work on the lavender as I do every watercolor painting that I draw. And that is, you lay down your lightest colors first, and you work from light to dark. This can sometimes be a little difficult, but what I mostly do is I block in mass amounts of color, um, especially if I'm doing something that's a uh, loose painting in the first place. So I blocked in the two major colors that I knew I'd want. Um, I blocked in a green, it would turn out to be a greenish blue, but a green for the stems of the lavender. And then I blocked in a purple for the blossoms. Moving on from there, I gradually built up color so that it would bring out more and more of the um, texture of actual lavender. So I used a stippling technique and referenced my photos to see where um, shadows would usually be inside of a bouquet of lavender. So I also took gradually darker colors. Eventually, I didn't even use, uh, mix purples anymore. I used blues and... Um, and browns in order to create a nice deep dark lavender color. I also eventually began to add some warm highlights to this by adding some of my um, opera pink or opera rose uh, watercolor, highly diluted but kind of swept it around on some nice highlight areas which helped to create a nice bright lavender effect. For the stems of the lavender I went through and added slightly darker colors of, um, of green in order to create a nice shadow effect. What I did for that was I mixed um, green with a little bit of brown and that kind of created a nice almost forest green, um, especially since I don't actually have a forest green. So I used a, a yellow green to create some of the shadows, which actually really came out very nicely. As I was darkening the bouquet, I realized I wasn't 100% happy with its silhouette. So I added a few extra um, flowers that stick out a little bit further. That kind of helped to create a nice, almost off-balance silhouette, and I really liked that. So as you can see, by simply using increasingly darker shadows, I've created a fairly realistic three-dimensional piece that I was actually quite pleased with. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment down below and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you'd like to see more of my art, you can either click the information button or one of the links in the end card. For more watercolor videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Bye.